This workshop, this ritual workshop is called the anointing of the feminine. For those of you who are drawing near to emerge, ready to emerge, to begin another layer of your own work, or to be of more visible service to others, please share in this anointing ceremony. You will honor the divine feminine inside as we move forward to express her and our own personalities in these times. As did the priestesses in the temples of old, we will bless and consecrate our work, our calling. One of the most courageous things you can do is identify yourself, know who you are, what you believe in, and where you want to go. A quote from Sheila Murray Bethel. So I'd like you to relax, take a couple nice deep breaths, and just close your eyes. And I will lead you through a guided meditation. So when you're ready, see yourself walking down a dirt road and entering the woods, the forests, along the, a path. A wise woman in white, in an open glade, steps out onto your path. And she offers you her hand. You take it. And you ask her the one main question that you have. Whatever her answer, whatever answer you get inside, thank her, release her hand, and come back out of the woods, down the dirt path, back to yourself. Take a few minutes to yourself to journal, record your experience, your words, the idea, drawing, writing, in whatever way that you feel will allow you to remember this experience. So just take a few minutes, maybe make some notes, and then we'll continue. So I'd like to read another quote. I've come to believe that each of us has a personal calling that's as unique as a fingerprint and that the best way to succeed is to discover what you love and then find a way to offer it to others in the form of service, working hard and also allowing the energy of the universe to lead you by Oprah Winfrey. So now I'll ask you to get quiet again and take a couple deep breaths. And you're going to put out a call to your future self to come and show you where you will be in five years and what you need to know now. So put out a call to your future self, who you could possibly be in five years from now, or you could stretch it out to 10 years and ask that part of yourself, that future self, 
what you need to know now so that you can gather your pieces and you can use your time wisely to be ready for this next juncture of your life. Because anointing the feminine is about blessing and consecrating ourselves to the next step. We're ready to step out as women. We're ready to do our work, whether it be service, whether it be um, a, a body of uh, artistic and creative work, which still is in service to those who um, are recipients of it and how it helps them grow. And so you're wanting to know what you need to know now, what the next steps that you can take um, in this period of time that will help you get to where you'd like to be and where this future self says you are. So take a few moments, close your eyes, put out a call to your future self to come and show you what you need to know now. Take a few moments for uh, writing, recording, um, whatever it was that your future self told you and let you know that you need to have in place in order to do the work that you want to do. So now I would like you to write a credo for yourself your mantra of what you intend, what you believe, what you want to do, what your sense of yourself is at this point as you ready yourself to step out into the world with whatever it is you have to offer at this point in time. We're always in a state of becoming. There is no finished right and done. So we are always moving toward in the state of becoming, um, you don't have to have all the pieces in place. You don't have to know all the pieces that you will need, but perhaps you have an idea of something. And it's giving you a sense of perhaps what needs to be put in place now and what you believe yourself to um, be working toward and who you are. Who are you in this moment and what do you intend? What do you believe and what do you want to do? And who do you want to be or how do you want to be? So take a few moments 
and write this credo for yourself. You can always pause the recording if you need more time. So now I'd like you to put your shawl, your scarf, your blouse, whatever you've brought with you, um, at, put it on your body, on yourself as a um, embracing. By putting the shawl on, you're embracing this um, anointing of the feminine, this willingness to step forward and um, face your altar, your candle, whatever you've created here to uh, be a focal point of this ritual. And slowly, out loud, recite the credo that you've just written very softly, very quietly, but out loud so that your outside ears can hear. It's not just your brain thinking about something. You're imbuing your body with this credo. You're bringing it into your cells, into your own hearing. So take a few moments and just recite the credo that you've written once, maybe twice, depending on how short or long it is, and just be with yourself for a few minutes. Now I would like to read something by Marianne Williamson. Our deepest fear is not that we are inadequate. Our deepest fear is that we are powerful beyond measure. It is our light, not our darkness, that most frightens us. We ask ourselves, who am I to be brilliant, gorgeous, talented, fabulous? Actually, who are you not to be? You are a child of the creator, the creatrix. Your playing small does not serve the world. There is nothing enlightened about shrinking so that other people won't feel insecure around you. We are all meant to shine as children do. We were born to make manifest the glory of the creator that is within us. It is not just in some of us. It is in everyone. And as we let our own light shine, we unconsciously give other people permission to do the same. As we are liberated from our own fear, our presence automatically liberates others. So you are now ready to step forward as a woman into your work, into the next step of your life. As a first moment of service, take a moment and envision the globe, the world, the planet that you live on, surrounded in white light as a blessing to everyone as your first step in your own work. So just take a moment and envision the world being surrounded in white light. 
for the healing and good grace of everyone, yourself included in that. I wish you well.